Hello, Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly. We're going to look at some effective note taking here. So looking at, um, I guess, a range of different students at different year levels, but we're actually going to look at how um, students can actually uh, absorb text and, and information and, and try to get some clarity about what, what it's saying, but also categorize their thinking a little bit um, and go through it. So let's jump into it. We're going to use something that um, a lot of people don't know about, which is actually Google Keep. So if you're a Google Apps uh, for Education School, this is a really, really good one. Um, one of the things that I've been using this personally is looking at shopping lists and things to do and, and, and that sort of thing. But um, there's some amazing, really, really easy ways of, of, of getting our information kind of um, clear in our note taking. So down the bottom there, you can see take a note. Uh, you've got uh, voice dictation, which is incredibly effective uh, within this app. But I'm just going to take a note here and let's just do a little bit of a, um, a title. Uh, let's just say that I'm watching a documentary um, on some sort of birds. So I'll just put birds there. And I'll just put a little note. Um, still don't uh, know uh, what they eat. So I'm just making a little point there. Uh, about what I still don't know as I'm kind of watching it. These are these questions that are being formulated in my mind when I'm watching the documentary that I need to know. Um, and what I can actually do there is I can actually press the bottom kind of right-hand corner there. I can actually categorize it. So for me, it's going to be kind of this pinky red color is going to be all the questions that I need to know. And then I just press back there. And what I actually see there is I can actually start categorizing. So what you can use is this kind of color coding situation where um, certain uh, cards, if you like, uh, certain colors, the things I need to know, the things maybe the blue or the green could be the things that actually make sense. You can see there I've got a little um, uh, recording, a little voice recording there of what I've done. But what I could actually do there is categorize and say, okay, all the things that I know are going to be actually in that green color. Um, and there's some really, really nice features to it. So what we could actually do is start to look at kind of uh, collaborating a little bit in regard to looking at my collaborators and I can actually start sharing the things that I don't know with some students in my class um, and we can actually start to build knowledge through these kind of cards that are in Google Keep. So this is just a fantastic one. I wanted to show you it in regard to um, note taking in regard to that multimedia aspect fantastic for differentiation too with our students that may struggle um, that they can do voice recordings obviously you can take pictures of different things that you're actually viewing so you could choose an image that you've already got or maybe there's something on the screen that you want to take a quick snapshot of uh, so if I wanted to take a photo I could actually kind of take a photo of what I'm doing here with my tutorial use photo and I could actually take a note on that so I might be saying okay uh, this is iPad, whoop, let's go back, iPad Monthly here, and it's a tutorial. Um, it's a tutorial there that I could actually write. Um, I can color code that and say it's something that I do understand, so I'll put it green, go back, and all of a sudden we've got this kind of multimedia aspect of it um, with our green, and we can start to take notes a little bit more effectively. Um, so there's some really, really nice features here. Um, I love that it's kind of built into our collaboration mode. We can actually work with other students to solve problems. And this is just for kind of note taking, but we could actually use this really, really effectively um, in the design process, um, design thinking as well, um, just general project work. Um, but I really think there's some huge benefits in uh, students trying to organize their thoughts, pose questions in regard to inquiry. Um, and Google Keep, I think, is a really, really visual way of doing that. And if you haven't seen it, um, please jump in and have a look at it and share with us, share with us at iPad Monthly the way that you're using Google Keep in the classroom. Paul Hamilton here for iPad Monthly, signing off.